Today, I had to sneak past security in order to gain access to possibly the most famous abandoned building in all of Chicago, the Damon Silos. These grain elevators date back all the way to the early 1800s, but due to multiple fires, the current structure was built in 1906. It was a state-of-the-art facility at the time and reflected an era when Chicago was big in the grain industry. In 1977, however, a large explosion, as well as the overall decline of grain industry in the city, ended the silo's official use. They fell into the hands of the state, who have been unable to sell it largely due to the hefty $11 million price tag. Join us for this historic adventure. All the graffiti has made this place extremely colorful, especially when the sun's out. Get into the main silos. Check out this window real quick, see if I can see the security guards. things are absolutely massive. The skyline looks really nice from this position. Sure to look even better on the top. Peeking around this corner, the security guard might be parked there waiting for me to rush past. If that's the case, I'll be done for. Don't see anything. Time to make a break for it. Whoosh. Oh boy. 
So where I am right now is the basement of the silos. This is the area that uh, all the carts and stuff, the workers would have come down here to empty the silos. Uh, like I remember reading that they would bring carts down here and the carts would go under the silo and then they would open up the silo and it would fill up the cart. Simple enough. Reaching the end of this length of tunnel, and this is still under the silo, but this isn't a. Well, this part isn't under the silos themselves. This is under the building, the rectangle that's attached to the silo. I'll get a flashlight out in a second. Moving in to the creepiest part. Light is just eating up down here. There's a whole bunch of noises in here that are just the building settling and all that, and they're really creepy. This part of the basement does get pretty flooded. I'm gonna look for an unflooded path to walk around in there a little bit. They're mainly the same thing, so I'm not gonna walk around in there too much. But yeah, these little things right here, there used to be rails on them for the little carts I was talking about. This is under more silos too, by the way, if I didn't mention that. I was smart enough to wear boots, so. Hopefully I don't get too wet. I feel like I'm playing Half-Life. Maybe a head crab or something come out of nowhere. Hmm. This area is less flooded, thankfully. This thing is super creepy. This umbrella. Someone hung up an umbrella here. And it looks extremely unsettling in the dark. It looks like a giant spider or something. Can't really bring it across on camera, but when you first time I came here, that scared the hell out of me. Do you see what I see? So I heard a story. There actually used to be someone who lived in here. In this room, I believe. Yeah, there's the old mattress right there. If you can see it. It's, it's only the spring now. But apparently they used to live in here for quite a couple of years. I don't know what happened to them. They knew like a bunch of abandoned spots all across Chicago. Deeper in. This feels as if you're in a horror movie. It really does. And that is terrifying.
Like just the thought that someone could be around one of these corners is super scary. So much random garbage down here. It happens to a lot of the popular abandoned places. They just get slews of random garbage that makes no sense being there. Like, I could understand that there'd be cans and bottles and stuff down here, but like, kid toys? Why stuff like that? Like, who brings that down here? Back out in the open. So now I'm gonna make my way to the upper floor. There's not much to see there, but there is a way up to the roof of the place. It's extremely windy out. It got windy out of nowhere. I'm gonna climb up the side of the building too. It's gonna be fun. on this uh, little walk though. Just looking at the canal. So now, once again, I might be in the site of security. Depends on where they are. Just something that I'm not sure of. I don't see them, so I'm just gonna rush up to that door right there. See this building. Though no longer in use, this building still shows us a great glimpse into Chicago's past. It is truly remarkable to see the skyline of Chicago's present overshadowed by one of the last relics of its industrial past. Kind of climb up. This thing is extremely rickety, so I have to be slow and precise with every step I go on because some are broken. It's super sketchy, but it's worth it for the view at the top. So, gotta get going. See, this is a perfect example of what I was talking about. The step is broken off right there. Little tip for climbing. Uh, rickety staircases. Always plant your foot by the edge of the staircase instead of the middle. It's sturdier there. I've made it up to, well partially all the way up. This is the first stop. There are two stops that I have to make. This is the first one. Let's see out here now. I still can't see the security guard anywhere. So I don't know where they are. Yeah, let's look around here. Once again, the graffiti in this place makes everything 
really vibrant. All the color. Sucks that a lot of the taggings are, well, just taggings and not the really nice graffiti. There used to be a bridge right here that connected the two silo buildings, but they blew up the bridge as part of the a Transformers movie. So now it's, you can no longer get over to that side via the bridge. I think there might still be a way in the basement. You climb a ladder that's inside one of the silos and it can bring you up to the top. I'm not doing that today though. floor that I had forgotten about right before the roof. <laughs> like one of the best looking floors too. Do these windows right here. part of this adventure. Very tippy top. adventure. The future of the Damon Silos remains uncertain. Illinois is eager to sell the property, however, if they don't reduce the large price tag, that will likely never happen. It seems the property will continue to rest, used only by other curious explorers like me. Mm -hmm.